Hello guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. What is up? My name is Jack and I'm fucking sweating like a motherfucker. It is so warm. Like it's warm outside, which is whatever, but like having the lights on as well and sitting in this room. Oh my God, I am so fucking warm. I thought having no hair would like cool me down. Bitch, no. So before I jump into today's video, I just want to say thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. That is literally like mind blowing to me and I'm so like forever grateful to you guys. I woke up to it which was the coolest way to wake up. I was in such a good mood all day and yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much for that. It literally means the world. Also I have a giveaway going on in this video. If you saw my I can't remember what video, it was like two or three videos ago. I was doing a giveaway with some Urban Decay products, like the back talk stuff. So by the time this video goes up, I will have like contacted a winner, so keep an eye out on your DMs. So I'm also doing a giveaway in this video with some more Urban Decay stuff. I don't know if I said in the last video, but L'Oreal, who is uh, like the owner of Urban Decay, sent me out a load of Urban Decay products and they said doubles. Obviously, it, like accidentally. But that means I've got stuff to give to you guys. So I'm gonna be giving away the Beached Eyeshadow Palette, which is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna open this one just because this one's mine and I've already swatched one of the shades But this is what the palette looks like and this is the inside oh. I'm gonna be using the blues and like this shade in today's video They also sent some lipsticks bronzers and um, that's all part of the collection So I'm gonna be giving away one of the bronzers as well just because I have like two two of each or like three of each I don't know, but I've got more than than one so and then also in the PR package, they sent out this Dark and Bay Beach and Travel Microfiber Towel. Um, so I just thought, like, they sent out two, so I've already got one. I don't need another one. So I just thought it'd be cute to include just because it did come as part of the PR package. So just throw it all together. So if that interests you, it's just the same as last time. All you have to do is leave your Instagram, or if you don't have Instagram, leave an email. In the comments, you just have to leave, like, something so I can message you. And also, of course, be subscribed to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And that is, that is it. So now on to the actual video. I'm gonna be doing a full face of Urban Decay as you guys already probably see. I have like a fuck ton of Urban Decay stuff right here. I'm so excited to do this. I'll be excited to do it when I, I stop sweating, honestly. Maybe if I like take this off. Like, I've got a vest on, I never wear vests. But it's like a billion degrees, so vest is best apparently. Anyway, if you do enjoy today's, if you do enjoy today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you want to subscribe to my channel. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. Okay then, so I'm gonna start off with my eyes. I'm gonna come back to eyebrows just like I've been doing recently. And I'm starting off with the Urban Decay. I'm gonna say Urban Decay a lot, just a f***ing pre-warning. But I'm taking the Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden. This is almost like a concealer. If you didn't know, I used to work for Urban Decay. I used to work on an Urban Decay counter. I told you I'd be saying Urban Decay a lot. Urban Decay. I used to work on one of their counters, so I'm pretty familiar with uh, literally everything. You know the ingredients like the back of my foot. But like I said, I'm taking the Eden Primer Potion. I'm gonna be mixing it a little bit with the Naked Skin Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. Just because Eden Primer Potion is a little bit matte, it's almost like a concealer. As you can see, it has like a pigment. It's supposed to be like a cover-up primer. So it's good for if you have like discoloration or like very prominent veins in your eyes. I promise you I'm not trying to, I feel like I'm back on the counter like trying to sell you stuff. So the Naked Skin is just gonna add like a little bit of hydration just because it is quite a matte primer. Just gonna take a flat concealer brush and just start packing that onto my lid. Like this is a, this is a thick base. So I'm kind of just gonna pat this on. I used to really like using Eden because you didn't necessarily have to set it before you uh, put eyeshadow on top. Also this primer is really, really good if you're using like very pigment, like almost pressed pigment eyeshadows. Something like the Urban Decay Electric palette is a pressed pigment palette. So you would use something like Eden just to avoid like your eyelid staining. I'm actually not gonna be setting that in place. I'm just gonna go straight in with the Naked Petite Heat palette. And I'm taking a mix of the shades Wild Thing and Heist, which are these two shades right here. This is also a really nice palette. And so is the Big Heat one. You guys know I'm not really fussed on the Naked palettes at all. In fact, I do not like them, apart from Heat, and I can tolerate Naked 3. So I'm literally just gonna start like pressing that into my crease. And also because you're not setting the base, you're ensuring like maximum pigment. Did I just say maximum? I think I did. I am just placing that literally in like a big hoop. Outer corner to inner corner. And then on a MAC 2 to 1 brush, I'm taking the shade Hot Spell and I'm going to use that to like blend out the edges of this. And also, I know this looks like crazy right now, but when you blend it, it looks fine. 
And I mean, you obviously don't have to take your shadows up this far. I have really small eyes and a very hooded eye. So I'm like fucking pushing that shit into my eyebrow because it makes my eyes look bigger. So then I'm going to take this Zoeva 232 brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the darker shade in the palette Strike. And that is just going in our crease because I'm going to try and do like a full blue lid. So I kind of want the crease to be like really dark just so it transitions out really nicely. Plus by putting a super dark colour in the crease, it makes all this top bit look a little bit more, it makes it look not so heavy. If you've blended up as far And then always going back in with that MAC 221 brush just to ensure seamlessness. No, just to like blend it all out. This is honestly one of my favorite brushes that I own just because it's so small in comparison to a normal blender. Then I'm taking one of the 24 7 pencils in the shade LSD. This is just like a nice shimmery blue, but it almost has like a gray black base. This like full on might turn into a cut crease because I am not good at this like style of eye makeup. Like when you put a cream on the lid and try and blend it and then put a shadow on top, it just looks really fucking patchy. But I'm gonna try my best because if you're not trying, what are you doing? Oh, that looks horrible. But we are going to persevere. I'm now gonna take the beached eyeshadow palette and take that blue, like I said. So that is the shade Double Dip, which is this lightest blue right here. I'm just gonna take that on my finger. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, yes, queen. Ooh, that is fucking beautiful. I'm then gonna dip into that darker shade plunge. I'm just taking a flat brush for that. And I'm just like packing that on the outer corner. I am just gonna go ahead and do my other eye and I will be right back. So then moving on to my skin, I'm first gonna take the B6 Vitamin in why can't I speak? I'm gonna be taking the B6 spray. This is like a prepping spray. This is so good for the skin. In my makeup career, I think I've been through like maybe five bottles of this. So they have repackaged mine is in like the old packaging just cause I, <laughs> I stocked up before I left. So this has like willow bark. This has like the actual vitamin B6 in it. It's just really good for your skin and your skin cell turnover. And it's just really good. Also you can use it on like all skin types, so. As I'm saying things, I feel like they sound really salesy. I just can't kick the fact that I used to work there. It runs in my veins. And I actually really, really like the repackaging. The purple was nice, but I think this is like a little bit more urban decay. Oh, I forgot to say, on my eyes, I took a little bit of Midnight Cowboy. This is one of the heavy metal glitter liners. And I literally did like four specks of glitter just on the very center of my lid. So then to prime, my a couple of my friends actually still work for the brand. And after uh, Urban Decay sent this out to me, they said that it wouldn't be the best one for me. So I made a mistake in choosing this one. But this is the self-adjusting primer. This apparently has like pigments in it that adapt to your skin. I have swatched this in store and this is adapting to someone's skin who is like three shades, four shades, maybe even five darker than me. So this is what it looks like. It almost looks like cement. I'm gonna try a little bit on my jaw. Hmm. I think it's almost like the more you work it into the skin, it kind of like activates the pigments more. I don't want to fuck around with it too much because I, w I will go orange. So that actually didn't go fucking tan like I thought it was going to. It's caught like a little bit on my beard here. It looks like white spots, almost like it's filled my pores. If I had like pores. I'm totally joking. It's not bad. For foundation, I'm gonna be taking pretty much the only two foundations from Women's Decay. So it's the Naked Skin and the All Nighter. I kind of don't fuck with this one. I don't particularly like it. I do enjoy the Naked Skin one actually, but the coverage is not like fantastic for me. So I've got the All Nighter just to put like half a pump or like a pump in there just to boost the coverage. The one thing I do like is the packaging on the All Nighter. I don't know why. It just kind of almost reminds me of like Spider-Man. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I like it. And then Naked Skin, uh, when I worked there, we obviously did like makeovers all the time. I used Naked Skin on everybody because it's the only foundation they had at the time. And it just seemed to always look good on everyone. And obviously I myself used to wear it to work. So yeah, it's just like the coverage is not completely where I want it to be. In Naked Skin, I am in the shade 1. And in All Nighter, I'm supposed to be the shade 0 0.5. But this oxidizes like no other foundation I've ever tried. Apart from that fucking Ofra one. You guys know what I'm talking about. I am literally taking a pump maybe even three quarters of. And then Naked Skin, I'm gonna take like three pumps. And I know I'll have some foundation left over, but it's better to have that than to go in with like more of the All Nighter. Also, my skin's really dry as well, and it's a very matte foundation, but I've never actually mixed it with Naked Skin, so I'm gonna see how that works out. I also have better skin now than I did when I was working there, so maybe Naked Skin will look a little bit better on me, I don't know. 
I obviously have uh, facial hair and I am fucking resistant when it comes to shaving. I do not like shaving at all. So it obviously like will look a little bit drier like around my mouth area and along my jawline, my double chin line and my chin, which obviously can't be helped. I mean, it can be helped. I can, I can shave. But like I said, I don't like shaving. Someone actually left a comment on my Instagram post the other day and it was really funny. It was something like, Jack, I hate shaving. Also Jack, shaves entire head, which I thought was comical because it's very true. If I have to shave, I'll shave like my lip and this part of my cheek here and then my chin. I really do not shave my neck just because my skin is very sensitive and I always get fucking like breakouts all over my neck and it goes red and rashy and I just don't like it so I don't do it. Plus, I post for photos like this, so you can't even see my fucking neck anyway. Okay, I'm not joking you. This looks so good. And I am definitely giving it to the naked skin. All Night is giving like a little bit of coverage, but this for the most part is naked skin doing this. Such a good foundation, man. And just like I thought I did, and like I said, I have better skin now than when I used to wear it for work. So I think it's looking a lot better. You can buy all the fucking makeup in the world, but if you do not look after your skin, it's just not gonna look how you want it to look. Can you see my nose? I am so hot. Why is it so warm? Fucking sun. Moving on to concealer, same as foundation, I'm gonna be taking the Naked Skin and the All Nighter Concealers. Just because the All Nighter, again, has like that extra little bit of coverage, but the Naked Skin is what I need for my skin because it's like a hydrating formula and it's not super thick and drying and all of that stuff. And I am the shade Fair Neutral in both. I'm literally gonna do like a little bit of All Nighter and then go with a lot of Naked Skin. This is also another really good concealer and I used to use this so much. I remember buying like five of these at a time when I had my staff discount. I bought so many of these just so I was like 100% stocked up. Now it's not like my favourite. I don't reach for it. There are other ones that have overtaken it but it's still a really really good concealer. I am going to take a little bit of powder. This is the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Pressed Powder. I got the shade Naked Light. I'm pretty sure there's a fear and I just obviously didn't remember when I asked. Oh, and funny story, this comes in this pouch. I did not know that for the longest time, like after I started, until someone returned one of these because it was broken and I took it out of the box. I genuinely thought they'd like brought their own pouch or like put it in a little bag. I didn't even know what was going on, but apparently they all come in these little bags. So this is what this looks like. I think this is like a little bit too dark. I'm pretty sure there's a fear. It must be because this is like my mum's colour and she's like three or four shades darker than me. So I'm just going to take that in like very strategic areas. To bronze, I'm going in with the beach bronzers and I'm taking both shades. They have sunkissed and bronzed. Literally like two shades. It's not like a very extensive colour range. And they're really kind of like not that separate from each other. Sunkissed is a little bit more red and then bronze is obviously like a little bit more brown. Yeah, maybe... Maybe some more shades. <laughs> I'm first taking bronze. It is maybe like a little bit too dark for me, but I'm just gonna use that in like my contour. Oh, dropping brushes. I'm gonna use that in my contour area just because it's a little bit more on the brown side, whereas Sunkiss is a little bit, like I said, a little bit more red. Just gonna stipple that on. I'm taking like the tiniest, tiniest little bit. And you guys know I'm really big into like pushing cheap products in, especially because I don't set my entire face. And for contour, I really like using angled brushes. This is a Morphe E4. Just because the bottom of the brush here obviously holds the most pigment because it's the most condensed part of the brush, or the bristles. And then the top is a little bit more like flimsy and fluffy, so I feel like it does a good job of like blending the product up. As far as I'm aware, Urban Decay don't do contour products. I think they're more into like bronzy, warm, like all about sun-kissed, like that kind of deal. I don't, I don't think they, oh my God, no, they do. They do a contour palette, but I think it's relatively newer, maybe. Oh, also temperature update, it's still fucking boiling. There are legitimate beads of sweat on my nose. So then I'm gonna take the shade Sunkiss and my Y5 brush and like just take the tiniest little bit of this and just kind of like dust it over like the very top of my cheek. A little bit on the forehead and just like on the tip of my nose. To highlight, I'm going in with the Beauty Beam Highlight Palette. This is the one they did with Kristen Leanne. I have used this before and I do like it. It's not like the most intense thing I've ever used in my life, but that's pretty typical with Urban Decay. For the, like the longest time, I really was not a fan of the highlighting formula. This one, I think they did a really good job on. I think I mentioned that when I did a first impressions on it. I am just going to be picking up this very middle shade. See, like I said, it's very nice and it's very fresh looking. I think the formula like melts into the skin really nicely. It's not a chunky formula like some of Urban Decay's other highlighters are. 
So I do enjoy the formula. Of course, it's not the most blinding highlighter on the fucking market, but I don't think Urban Decay is the brand to deliver that. Obviously, the whole vibe and the whole brand was started on naked skin and having like flawless, fresh skin. It's not about like extreme contour and like beaming out of space fucking highlights. But even so, I do think this highlighter palette is really, really pretty. I mean, honestly, that is that is gorgeous. I think Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne did a really, really good job. Now, time for blush and one of my fucking favourite products from this brand. I'm taking the 8 Hour Afterglow blushes in the shades Fetish and Video. I've mentioned these uh, pretty recently, I think. These two blushes are fucking... So this one's Video, this one's Fetish. Ooh, these two mixed together used to be my freaking life. So video, I do sometimes like wearing that on its own. Fetish, I won't, but I do like mixing them together just because they give like this perfect kind of combo of warm apricot and like a hint of pink. I just think that's stunning. I am just going to take a little spray of the B6 just to hydrate my skin, give it a little refresher. Another reason why I love this is the mist is super fine, super fine. It doesn't come out in like a, it doesn't attack you. For my under eyes then, I just went ahead and did this one quickly. I'm taking the Perversion Eyeliner Pencil. This is probably my favourite black pencil liner ever. It's just f***ing phenomenal. I don't know how much of this I'll actually like successfully get on camera, but I'm gonna try. And then I'm taking the two darker shades from the Petite Heat palette. And I'm just smoking that out. And then I'm just taking the shade Wild Thing and then blending that out some more. And then I'm going to take that shade from the Kristen Leanne palette again and pop that on my inner corner, just because we're looking a little dark. Now I'm going to take some Urban Decay Perversion, obviously Urban Decay Jack, some <laughs> Perversion Mascara. This is like the fucking blackest mascara ever. This is one product from Urban Decay that I can't recommend enough. And I've literally, I've just realised that I bent the spoolie out of habit. Lashes is the only thing from Urban Decay that I don't actually have. So I'm going to throw on one of my own pairs and then I'll be back to do lips. Um, and my brows, actually. Let's do brows first. So I'm taking the Brow Beta. This is just like a micro brow pencil. And this is the shade Neutral Brown. So for lips, I'm going to go in with the shade Back Talk. This is a comfort matte. And I did go ahead and line my lips. I thought I had a lip liner from Urban Decay. Apparently I don't. So uh, yeah, but it's basically the same colour. And to top that off, I'm taking one of the Hi-Fi Shine Lip Glosses, and this is in the shade Fuel. And of course, to set all of that in place, I'm going to be taking my very famous Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm just going to be fucking dousing myself. So then you guys, this is the final makeup look for a uh, full face of Urban Decay. I'm really into blue at the moment. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like I want to add blue to like every single makeup look I do. And also my skin. I am so happy with this skin right now. I really hope you guys like it too. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I really love doing one brand tutorials. They are one of my favorite videos to film. And I think Urban Decay fucking delivered. I'm obsessed. I am fucking McDonald's right now. I am loving it. I have a big ass fucking bit of hair on my lash. So if you did enjoy today's video guys, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me and if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can just go ahead and hit the button. Also make sure you have hit the bell button just so, I mean of course if you want to, just so you are aware or just so you are aware of when I upload a video because YouTube is fucking up everyone's shit at the moment. So if you want to keep up to date with what I'm uploading then uh, yeah, just go ahead and hit the little bell button. It should be should be somewhere on your, on your screen. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget to enter the little giveaway I'm doing with the beach stuff. Because it's a good palette for more I've used. Just this blue alone. These blues are beautiful. I would enter just for the blue. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Goodbye. Oh,